you listen closely, you can hear the voice of the Lord speaking to the church in the hour in which we live. And he's calling us, just like he called Gideon out of the wine press to become a deliverer to the people of Israel. He's calling the church to arise out of the wine press of our mediocrity, of our old models, our old wineskins, and come together in a holy convergence of kingdom people who have one heart's cry. It's, God, we want to see you move in our generation. We've all heard the stories of the first great awakening, and the second great awakening, and men like George Whitfield and John Wesley and Charles Finney and Jonathan Edwards. We've heard the stories of the Pentecostal outpouring at Azusa Street, and we've all been the recipients of the blessings of the latter rain outpouring and the Welsh revival and the Jesus movement. But what about our generation? I believe under the surface of the ground spiritually that we stand upon, there are still embers from previous revivals and prayers that were prayed and peoples that gather together in hopes of God moving in their day. And they're just waiting for God to fan the flame. I believe that God is whispering and calling together those who are hungry for that next move of God. And he's asking us to pray one simple prayer. God, we've seen you do it before. Do it again.